Hello everyone, how are you doing? This is MD Tech here with another quick tutorial. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you guys how to resolve if you're noticing your Microsoft compatibility telemetry is experiencing a very high amount of disk usage on your computer. So this should hopefully be a pretty straightforward tutorial and without further ado, let's go ahead and jump right into it. So we're going to start by opening up the start menu, just left click on the start button one time. Type in local group policy. Best match, go back with edit group policy. You want to left click on that. This tutorial will apply for those running Windows 7, Windows 8, and Windows 10 professional and higher editions. So unless you're running Windows 10 home, this tutorial is not going to apply for you. So anyway, once we're in the local group policy editor here, you want to go ahead. So now let me make this screen a little bit wider here. And underneath computer configuration, you want to expand the administrative templates folder. And then you want to expand Windows components. You want to left click where it says data collection and preview builds. And on the right side, there should be something that says allow telemetry. Double click on it. Now you want to left click on disabled. And then left click on apply and OK. Once you're done with that, you should be able to close out of here. And now you want to go ahead and open up the start menu again. Type in services. Best match should come back with services right above desktop app. Left click on that one time. Now you want to scroll down on this page and see it to connected user experiences and telemetry. So it shouldn't be too far down on the page here. Double click on it. You want to make sure startup type is set to automatic and if it's currently underneath server status it says stopped. You want to start it, just left click on the start button and then left click on apply and OK. Close out of here. Once you're done, restart your computer, and hopefully that has been able to resolve your problem. The services method, hopefully that would maybe be able to work for Windows 10 Home Edition, but I know this tutorial is really not geared towards that. But if you're running Windows 10 Home, just make sure that service in the services window was turned on and is set to automatic. Restart your computer like I already said, and again, hopefully you should be good to go. So, as always, thank you guys for watching this brief tutorial. Do help I was able to help you out, and I do look forward to catching you all in the next tutorial. Goodbye.